Hi everyone, in this video we will learn how to turn a Rhino screen recording into an AI generated video, scaled up to nearly 2K quality and under 10 minutes all running locally. We will use the Q8 version of 1.2.1 Vase with Control Net plus a LoRa for faster and more control generation. If you haven't seen my previous video comparing the first version of 1.2.1, the full 1.2.1 Vase model and the 1 2.1 vase q8 check it out i will put the link above i will also walk you through converting an image that i will be generated with ai to 3d using union 2.1 the latest model and also using a new one called spark 3d and we'll compare the difference between the two models then we'll pick one of the three models and we will record the camera path in Rhino to feed into our AI video. And finally, we'll break down the full workflow in Confi UI, including the upscale part. And it will be a step by step and we'll compare a couple of settings. We'll test a couple of settings, see what's the result with some of the settings. And also I'm going to give you my go to setup. Let's get into it. So here we are looking at Flux context. So here I put a, a prompt to basically create a neutral image out of that <clears throat> image that I show you. So the, the basic, the base image, but I'm trying to extract, remove material, remove colors and get something close to a screenshot from Rhino. And then I use that image in Yunyuan. So here I click on it and I download it to use it in Union. So the first one we're going to use is actually Spark 3D. So this is the image I had from Flux and I drop it in Spark 3D. I'm going to put the link below in the description to access the website. It's free um, for the first few generations. So you can give it a go and try. And when I'm happy with the result, I'm just downloading it. And now it's uh, Union 2.1. So I'm doing the same process. I'm grabbing the image and I just drop it in the area. And then here you can adjust and play with the settings. I will keep everything by default uh, for now. And I will just um, anti remove the background. And we're going to look at how it looks like looks pretty good um, I'm pretty happy with that so you just click on the, the next tab and then you click on transform and when it's transformed you can download it so you can have a look at it in the preview click bang around and then another one that I want to try is a 512 so same settings but this time with a 512 resolution so when I generate the shape This is what I have, which is quite much more accurate again than uh, the 256, which is quite good to see. But I, again, I didn't change any settings and here I just download it. Now, if we import everything, let's have a look at how it looks like in Rhino. So here, this is Spark 3D. So when you cut through, you actually have much more detail and uh, much more interesting elements. We can almost read the mullion. The quality of the mesh is very detailed. One of the things that is missing though is the context and that's something you have with Union uh, 2.1. So I found having the context would help with the video. So that's why I sort of went with um, Union, but depends what you want to out of the process. So here's a file in Rhino where I tested a lot of different settings. So I'll share it with my Patreon, the file, so you can flick around and have a look at it in more detail uh, to see the difference when you change a bit of the guidance and the number of steps. And then when I'm in Rhino, what I'm going to do here is I'm just uh, set up my screen recording. So I just use the basically the snap from Windows, the very basic one. And I just try to get the right resolution here. I'm tweaking a bit the, to get the good resolution. And now I'm setting up my path. So here that's one path that I also created for a video, um, but you can create any path. And here the idea is to reduce the size to five seconds. 
um, because that's sort of the length I want to have in my video. And there we go, I got my path. So that's the idea of the screenshot. So here's my path. And when I put it to config UI, I can generate a depth map. So automatically it will generate a depth map of that path. And this is a canny. The canny look very abstract, but I found it quite amazing how it actually managed to, to get the results. And here is the AI uh, video. So we can see that the, the camera movement is matching very well my movement in Rhino, which is quite amazing and can be quite helpful. And this is so the time it took. So 230 seconds, which is quite fast, probably about five minutes, I would say, from the back of my head. And that's the result out of the box, out of this process. So 960 by 558. And when we upscale it, using Coffee UI again by two, uh, we can get to a almost 2K resolution, which is quite stunning. Now that's the workflow for Confi UI. So the first things I want to do is uh, set up my unit loader, GGUF, and then I'll select the clip and load my clip. Here I need to select the one 2.1 clip. So I'll put the link of all the models below in the description. Um, and I need to make sure that it's um, right one. And then I use a LoRa to speed up the process, but also to have a bit more control in the reference layer. I put 0 0.7 as strengths for now. Um, I'll show you some different results with different settings. Here I'm loading my clip prompt, um, so my positive and negative prompt, and my model sampling. So here I'm copy paste my prompt to, um, so you feel free to, to pause the video if you want to have a look at, at it in, in closer detail. I also have the Chinese version and I translate it and put it there if you want to copy. If you download some of the workflow, you will have uh, by default a negative prompt. It's very consistent. Um, here I'm loading my VAE uh, for 1.2.1 because I need it for my component one vase to video. And then I load my case sampler in between and plug my positive and negative prompt as well as my latent image. Another component I need is a trim video Latin. Um, so I'm just plug my trim Latin to trim amount um, to make sure that it's set to zero. This is because I have a reference image. So it just zero is sort of the setup. And then I use a VAE decoder to decode my Latin um, and I just put my VAE there. Now you can see that I need a control reference image. So I'm just going to load an image. And I'm just going to plug it under reference image. And then I need the reference video. So I'm going to load a video. So I'm going to select that component, load video upload. And then I'm just going to go and choose a video and I'm going to pick my Rhino screen recording. Um, and then I will use my preprocessor to actually the canny to generate my canny video. And I will also show you with depth, uh, anything's V2 to actually do the same video, but with the depth. Um, and then I'm just create a video combined to export those videos so I can show you them. But you don't have to do that. Um, and then I plug my output to uh, video. And here, that's where the settings work. So I'm just going to go through the settings and show you what I need. So 24 frames and then the custom width and height. I want uh, six, 960 and 528. Um, and the number of frame, 81 frame. 
and then make sure you set up your video as one on the other hand i'm just doing the same settings with the frame rates so i'm matching the frame rates of my original image for my depth and for my canny so i just renamed them so they're nice and tidy and then here i'm just going to match the same number as the width of my video which is 960 and then again i bring that in and i'm just going to match the same dimension so 960 by 528 so this is a resolution that works quite well um it's quite hard to do something larger than that at this stage this is an interesting thing so because i'm losing a lora i only need four steps between two and four steps and the c f g need to be at set at one so that's important when you use the lora and then the sampler name is ddim and the scheduler is ddim uniform i keep the denoising as one and then for my final video combine 24 four frames and then i'll change the name and i set it up now for my upscale i'm selecting the video i want to upscale from my video and here i'm just gonna take all the settings all the settings same settings as the outcome from here so 24 frames and then i'll grab the resolution that we had which was 960 by 528 and then 81 frame and then here the format is one so that's important um, and i put it back there and then i'm just going to use video upscale with model so that's something you might need to download from your manager if you don't have that component um, and then you set image and then here i'm just going to select um four time four clear reality v1 then a free video memory and finally a video combine again with the same frame rate as the input 24 and i'm selecting my h264 as well and i'll rename it q8 upscale time 2 and i'm selecting the right format so h264 mp4 now in terms of settings um i try different settings here i'm going to use a uni pc and simple and this is what's happening so unfortunately there's a lot of noise and a lot of weird things around the image so i don't really like that and i only had that with that specific sampler so that's why i'm not recommending it um i try with normal as well to see how it looks like and i also get a similar result um so i was mentioning that in my previous video um that can happen so the only way was really to follow the settings i was just showing you before um and going back to um ddim and ddim uniform let me know in the comments if you if you agree or if you found some some better settings i'm curious to know um and then for the laura i also test different strengths so here i put 0.5 as a strengths model and that's what i got so not quite convincing um so i found myself more between 0.7 and 1 would probably work best so i'm not super happy with this one so yeah i will keep it like here's a test with one for example and it's actually pretty good I like how the sun is, is picking up. The only thing that I'm not a big fan is the back. I don't think it's quite defined yet, fortunately. But those are the settings um, that you know I recommend: DDIM and DDIM uniform. And then here, what I've done is I actually test: what if I increase the number of steps? And I feel it works slightly better. You feel like there's a bit less noise on the image but it takes a bit longer to generate unfortunately um the back is still not great but and then i increase it here to 14 steps um and i don't know i found it slightly better the back is also a bit different um 
but I find it overall a bit more convincing with 14 step, but it takes slightly longer and that's an upscale time too. So if you use the same process, so you can see I just upscale it by time two. Okay. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just leave a like. It helps a lot the channel. Comment, let me know what settings work the best for you. Let me know how you can use it in the architecture process. I'm very really interested about how you could actually use that and, and what do you think about it. Is it better than Runway? Is it better than Kling 2.1? I don't know. I, I, would, I want to know. I think it would be interesting to, to talk about it. I found the control with the control net and the control over the camera quite interesting this is something that i miss in runway for example so i have a full review on runway in this video i'll put the link above but i found it quite interesting but describing it in five seconds is quite challenging so i think for me having control over the camera and being able to do that movement and choose what are those five seconds about is quite uh, amazing and also having it in rhino you can do the modification and then re sort of process it and that's quite interesting and the, the reference image help a lot in the process anyway that's it for today if you like the channel please subscribe i'll try to do some more and i will share all my file and everything with my patreon so if you're interested about the file you can join our patreon there's also a, a link to the discord channel if you want to discuss put your output there and just we can discuss it anyway that's it for today and uh, and i see you in the next video